Hello and how are you all today? The question says, if a line touches a circle and from the point of contact a chord is drawn, prove that the angles which the chord make with the given line are equal respectively to the angles formed in the corresponding alternate segment. Now using the above theorem, we need to prove the following. That P is the midpoint of arc AP, APB. Prove that tangent QR drawn at P to the circle is parallel to AP. Right. So, first of all, we need to prove the first part for this question. For that, this is the required figure which we need. Here, we will be writing what is given to us. Now here we are given that PQ is a tangent to the circle with center O and radius R with point of contact A. AB is a chord and D and C are points on the arc AB and arc B respectively other than A and B. We need to prove that angle BAQ B -A -Q is equal to ACB ACB and PAB is equal to ADB. For that, we need to draw the diameter AOE and join BE. Now, let's proceed with the proof. In triangle ABE, we know that angle ABE is equal to 90 degrees because it is an angle in a semi-circle. As we have by construction drawn, AOE as diameter. Now further, angle AEB plus angle ABE plus angle BAE is equal to 180 degrees because the sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 degree, right? Now, if one angle is equal to 90 degree, then the sum of the remaining two angles become equal to 90 degree itself, right? So, angle AEB plus angle BAQ becomes equal to 90 degrees. Let this be the first equation. Also, we can see that angle EAB plus angle BAQ is equal to 90 degrees. Let this be the second equation and this is because it is the angle between the tangent and circle, sorry, radius. Isn't it? Now from the first equation and the second equation we get angle EAB plus angle BAQ is equal to angle AEB plus angle BAE. Or we can say that Angle BAQ is therefore equal to AEB. And let this be the third equation. But angle AEB is also equal to ACB as these are angles in the same segment. So, from the third and the fourth equation, we get angle BAQ is equal to angle ACB. Hence, we have proved one part of the proof that was required to be done over here. Now, for the next part, 
incyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D. We know that sum of angle A, C, B plus angle A, D, B is equal to 180 degrees. Similarly, angle P, A, B plus angle B, A, Q is equal to 180 degrees. This is because of linear pair. They are forming linear pair and this is because opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. Right? So, from these two equations, we get Angle ACB plus angle ADB is equal to angle PAB plus angle BAQ. Because they both are equal to 180 degrees, so hence their sum will be equal to each other. But from the fifth and the eighth equation, now here this was the eighth equation. And the above were the 6th and 7th. We get angle ACB plus angle ADB is equal to angle PAB plus angle ACB. Or we can say that angle ADB is equal to angle PAB. Or in other words, we can say that angle PAB is equal to angle ADB. And this is the required proof of the theorem which was given to us. This completes the first part of the solution. Now let's proceed with the second part. Here we are given that P is the midpoint of arc APB and we need to prove that QR is parallel to AB. Now let us for our convenience name this these four angles. This be angle 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now let's begin with our proof. Now here, since we know that, it's given to us that QR is the tangent and P is the midpoint of an arc. APP, so we can conclude that AP is equal to BP, right? Now, therefore, in triangle APP, since AP is equal to BP, this implies that angle 1 will be equal to angle 2 because of the simple reason that angles opposite to Equal sides are equal to each other. Right? Now, we know that angle 3 is equal to angle 1. This we can say that from above theorem that we have proved. So, from these two equations... We can say that therefore angle 2 is equal to angle 3. But if you carefully analyze, these are alternate interior angles, right? So when alternate, when two lines are intersected by a transversal such that alternate interior angles are equal, then we can say that lines are parallel to each other. So, QR is parallel to AB. Right? So, this completes the solution. Hope you understood the whole question well and enjoyed it also. Have a nice day.